what is up everyone it is alexis welcome back to my channel yes we are here back on my floor in my room and you guys know what that means another closet clean out video a couple months ago when i first moved in i filmed a part one to this video where i took you guys on the process of building my dresser that's already broke and also going through my clothes that I literally had since high school, preschool. I'm like, well, I could wear it one day, you know? Where are you going to wear that to? It fits your arm. These are the conversations I have in my head. <laughs> but in that video, I said I'm going to be doing a part two because I was going to revamp my style, revamp my wardrobe. And I also noticed while doing this, there's a few things that I could have let go. And I held on to that I shouldn't have. But I'm not kidding. It's so bad. And I got rid of like four bags of clothes. And I still need to get rid of more that I've just not even looked at. Does anybody else like go to the store and they buy things that they seriously just would never wear? Not even once. Like, oh, this is cute in the moment. And I never wear it. I don't know. I just do that. And I found a lot of shirts and like clothing and that I'm just like, what were you thinking? This was for probably a 12 year old girl. You're a grown woman. Can we get it together? So yeah, I have a lot of that that I need to go through and get rid of. But I also have clothes all over my house. A pile in my closet, a pile in my living room. I have piles everywhere. So this is my current state of my closet right now and it is a trash. And this is what I'm trying to avoid. It shouldn't be like this. One of you guys commented like, girl, you're always saying you need to get it together. Because I do. I try, I attempt, and I fail over and over and over again to be a clean, organized person. I don't know what the problem is. If any of you have any tips when you go from being a person that, I wouldn't say filthy, but messy, unorganized, and how you changed your life, give me the tips, give me the tea. Come on, I'm trying to elevate my life here, and that's the next level. A type of organization that I can stick to and that actually works and that I'm consistently doing on a daily basis and not just once a month, okay? I just got matcha all over my white pants. I just got matcha all over my white pants. Ew, why does this pen smell like old feet? Can these go bad? Why does it smell like cheese? Okay, so now this time I'm gonna be doing this completely different. I have a plan, a strategic plan. Hopefully that will stay. Hopefully that this time it will actually work and you won't catch me doing one of these videos again in the next month. So my plan is to take everything out of my closet, every single thing. Okay, so I've completely emptied out my closet and I am going to start putting everything in my piles. I'm going to try every single piece on to make sure I actually like the way it looks on me right now. I'm going to separate each item into separate piles and these piles are gonna determine whether I'm going to keep it or not. If these clothes do not fit in this category, gotta go. I don't care if I had it for 3,800 years, it's going in the trash. This is from Boohoo and yes, it's cute and all, but I literally have not wore it once since I bought it. It literally still has the tag. This is what I'm talking about. Why, why do I still have this? I know for a fact it doesn't fit me right. I don't feel comfortable in it. I would have to lose like 39 pounds just to get it around my body. I'm just not here for that. Why have a piece of clothing in my closet that reminds me that I don't fit into it? So this is definitely going. So first things first, when was the last time I wore this item? I'm not even gonna put these on. If I have not wore this in the last year, it has got to go. This is what I mean. I've had this since high school. Like I used to wear this so much in high school and for some reason I cannot give it up. I'm gonna try this on. Like, okay, so this is one of the dresses that I had to wear as a shirt because you know, I had a huge butt. All my other friends, we had different variations of this dress, like, and they actually wore it as a dress. It would not fit over my butt. So I always had to wear like pants with it. I don't know, it still is one of my favorite things. I can't get, I cannot get rid of it. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this, but I don't think I can do it, you guys. I don't think I can get rid of this. I really don't. I still think it's cute. I don't know. It's not, it's so out of style, but I still love it. If I have not worn this in the last year, it has got to go. Okay. Here is another thing that I've had in my closet forever and it still literally has the tag on it and I got it from Target and just never wore it. This is such a basic plain t-shirt dress. Yes, it's cute and it's a basic, like this is something you can just throw on. I might give this to my sister. This is probably definitely gonna go in the goodbye pile because 
I just don't wear it. I don't, I'm never gonna wear this. Like, let's be real. I'm not ever gonna wear this, even though I bought it for no reason. And I'm never gonna wear it. Literally, I have held on to shirts that have just been there because I wore it either at a concert and I just wanna hold on to the memory, like it's gonna bring me back there, or I wore it on my first date of meeting Roberto. I don't know, just that's how my brain works. Like, I literally will cry. Like, oh my God. I never want to get rid of this shirt. Is anybody else like that? The next pile is, does this actually fit me? And I don't just mean, can I squeeze into it and not breathe for the whole night? It sort of fits me, but my butt cheeks hanging out. I just have to keep pulling it down, keep pulling it down. None of that. It has to fit me right and actually look good on me. I have to feel confident in the piece of clothing. What is this? I've been holding on to it for the sake of I don't know what. I don't know what's gonna happen and how this is gonna ever fit me. This was made for a two year old. I can't, what? <laughs> This is, no, I, this is not it. If it does not fit me correct, like fit my body, make me feel confident, make me look good, doesn't make me look like I'm about to pop at any moment, then we can keep it. Then we can put it in that pile and say, yes, it does fit me, it feels great, I look good. Ooh, like you're your own worst critic. So if I'm over here like, damn, look, I know I look good. This is what I mean when I say something does not fit. Like, what is this? If I were to bend down right now, my whole entire would be out. I'm not even kidding you. Like this is cute and all, but it is so short and it's not made for girls with a butt. There's no way in heck like I would ever feel comfortable with actually wearing it. I've never actually worn it once since I bought it due to this reason, but I keep it hoping one day my butt will fall off. That's never gonna happen, okay? So um, I need to get over it and just get rid of the dress. What is this and why do I own it? Has a tag on it, never wore it. Does anybody know what I was trying to do with this? It's supposed to be over here. This is supposed to be over here. It doesn't fit. I swear sometimes I really get tricked by the models online. Like it looks so good on them and then I put it on me and I'm just like, so cute, yeah. This is gotta go. I'm, I don't even know. We're done looking. I don't even wanna look at it anymore. The next one kind of relates to that. Do I feel truly confident in myself in this outfit? Do I feel like it's outdated? Do I feel like it's me? Do I feel fully confident strutting down the street with my head up, not looking down because I'm embarrassed of myself? Do I feel that type of confidence? The fourth pile that I'm gonna create, does this represent my new style? The person that I've been wanting to come out of her shell at this age that I currently am right now, is this a style I'm going for, the aesthetic I'm going for, does it fit that? So everybody has that one moment in their life where they go to the store and they see something and they're like, I'm going to wear that one day to something, some extravagant event when I win an award or I go to my best friend's wedding. Like, I don't know what I was thinking to wear this to. I've never worn this one, so this dress was $100. It is beautiful, don't get me wrong. The design is cute. I just don't know where I would wear this to, but I love doing this in it. I just feel so pretty. I think it's time to say goodbye. I really do. I don't even know what to say about this. And it reminds me of the time when the one compliment I got was I was called snake booty. So there's that. I definitely think I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not comfortable in it. It's way too short. I don't like it. I wouldn't feel confident wearing this. So definitely gotta go. If it doesn't fit my style and who I am right now, but it's gotta go is what I'm trying to say. And the last pile is, does it make me feel good inside? Okay, so you know when you see, like you're at a store and you see a shirt and you're like, that's it. That is it, I have to have it, gotta buy it, I can't live without it. I want to be excited about what I'm about to put on. Not like, oh, this is all I have to wear, I can't find anything, oh my God, why do I have this? Why do I own this? But it's all I have. I don't want that anymore. I want to be able to go to my closet and be like, okay, I love this, this makes me feel good inside, it makes me feel happy to put on. I want exciting clothes. Even if you have old clothes that are thrifted or you just had them for a long time and they still give you that exciting feeling, keep it, that's what I'm talking about. You feel confident in that shirt you feel good in that shirt keep that shirt i'm just gonna get rid of the ones that don't i'm gonna keep all the ones that do and get rid of all the ones that don't to make sure i'm actually going to wear it i'm going to make sure that i have a well round of basic pieces in my closet your everyday 
comfy pieces that you want to wear neutral colors that go with everything that you can just throw on go outside you still look cute you still look you dressed up in the morning and you have those to go to you will always be able to create some type of outfit i'm telling you i am telling you you need a good selection of basics in your closet so now that i've gone through everything and i tried everything on that was so hard to do like never again <laughs> but it really really let me know what to get rid of though i'm gonna tell you that it does work if you try it on a piece it will take away all the sentimental value that you hold and if it doesn't feel right look right you're like okay i'm getting rid of this i look ridiculous so it does help in the way of narrowing things down but now i gotta clean up this whole entire mess welcome to my life i don't want to do this but we have to do it okay let's go I went on my favorite websites and bought all new clothing items not because I want to be an anti-minimalist the reason why I actually went shopping is I haven't actually gone shopping in like five years but I never actually went and tried to revamp my style and I just been outdated since high school like I used to be so into fashion when I was in high school it was ridiculous like literally always had to be on the trends always testing my style dressing different and I loved every ounce of it and then once I left high school I was like who am I trying to impress am I nine to five no one so I stopped I literally stopped I didn't care what I looked like walked around looking like a tarantula and now I'm like no we cannot be doing that that is not allowed unacceptable you should still shop for yourself you don't need to impress anybody I just remember walking in school with my new outfit and just looking different than anybody else but still in style and people always would compliment what I was wearing and I'm like I love that feeling like I love that feeling I'm just feeling the utmost confident I went to my all my favorite stores I shopped at Aritzia Lululemon, Revolve, I love Revolve. I shopped at Zara, and those were the main stores where I got a lot of my pieces. A pile of just your good staple pieces in your wardrobe that are more on the bold side, but you can also pair with a lot of things and you can get a lot of wear out of. That can take an outfit from zero to 10 in five seconds. Everybody needs that jean jacket or that blazer just the staple pieces or that amazing dress with your simple shoes you just need those staple pieces that you can grab and be like okay it's gonna look good with this this and this and you just get a lot of wear out of it but it can take your outfit to a 10 in 10 seconds okay everybody needs some of those in their life and then of course you need your just your outright fancy going to dinner going out with the girls going on a dinner date with your man Everybody needs some of those in their closet. You just do. You got you got to be prepared. You know, when your friend calls you and you're like, you down to go out, girl? And you're like, shh, I have nothing to wear. Nope, not anymore. Not anymore. You want to get these pieces and make sure that they're timeless. Like, if you go out wearing it, it's unique, it's cute, but it's timeless. So you can always have it in your closet and you're ready to go. You're like, yes, girl. And your man's like, surprise day. Go get dressed. Go get ready. I'm taking you to freaking Hawaii. And you're like, I don't have anything to wear. Stop. Make sure you have your going out fancy outfits 
the couple that you're gonna hold on to that you can always throw on like a little black dress and some black heels like those type of things that you could just always throw on no matter what you feel confident in it it looks cute on you you need these in your closet so this is my model and kind of what I did and it just made my closet so much more clear it just made when it comes to picking an outfit so much easier this is the way people should shop you shouldn't shop just to shop like what do you need go look at your closet and what do you need because when you buy a whole bunch of pieces and you just don't know what to wear with it or if you can even wear anything with it i've done that so many times and wore the shirt like one time so no more of that no more wasting money wasting time feeling not cute when you're going out and just feeling your utmost best no matter what you pick out of your closet because you already did this you already did the work and you know what's going to work for you that's the point that's the key i'm telling you that is the key so now i'm going to take all these new clothes and my old clothes and if they don't fit they're either getting returned or going to goodwill that is it that is my two options and that is it look at the final done closet it looks so much better than before no clutter i love it so it kind of looks exactly the same but not really i decided to organize it a lot differently this time just so i can actually see what i have when i come in my closet so the biggest thing to me during this whole thing is to wear every piece of clothing that i own and it is so decluttered it's actually weird seeing only this much clothing I went through every piece of clothing. I tried everything on that I owned and I made sure I really, really loved every single piece, every piece of every single shoe. There's not a single thing in here that I don't love and so I wanted to show you guys how I decided to organize it. I got these things from the container store which I absolutely love. Um, they just store my shoes so nicely. I think I want to get another stack because I did just recently get more new shoes but I love these. They just make a closet look so nice, so clean, so chic and well organized. So there used to be four bins up here but I actually took them down because I didn't like the look of that I wanted to be more minimal up here and I put them in these little cubbies to make it kind of look nicer in these cubbies have like socks scarves because I just didn't want them laying out so I got these little bins from Ikea I kept my hats in the same spot I kind of like like the look of it up there um, and it just allows me to see what I have and that's the goal that's the key to see exactly what i own i went ahead and put up my purses up here once again they were all over the house they didn't have a space so i'm gonna start putting all my purses up here i've been on the hunt for a perfect black bag and i did get the prada one but it was so small and i did not like it like i just was like no it's so much money and i barely used it so i actually returned that one and i got this bag gifted to me by teddy blake and it is the perfect black bag. I literally love this bag. Like it comes with a full strap and it's so well made with leather and it just comes with like, these pockets in here. I love, love, love this bag. I feel like it's the perfect black bag. If you kind of just want to wear it with handheld, you can, or you can have an option for a strap. Such high quality and it's like literally a fraction of the price of the Prada bag that I got. So um, once I got gifted this, I was like, okay, I love this bag so much more. If you guys are looking for a perfect purse they have so many different colors and so many different styles but the, I feel like literally this is the perfect little bag if you guys are looking for something like this I will have it linked down below but I just wanted to mention that to you because I know I was talking about like all my fashion I literally love this bag so yeah I just put my purses up there I, I definitely want to get a better way to style them like I saw this one girl who had like a crate thing that went up to the roof and she just had like all of her purses in there so I'm definitely gonna look into getting that but I just didn't get that in time for this video now on to my actual clothes like this is how many extra hangers I have you guys I have to like give those away or something to my siblings or my mom I organized by shirt type like clothing type of what it is and then I went every section I organized it by colors it just makes it easier to find what I'm looking for and I did that throughout my entire closet which I love so I put crop tops here tank top crop tops then I put regular crop tops then I put long then I put yeah regular crop tops body suits long sleeve crop tops it also lets me know 
what I have and how much I have. Like, does anybody know why I have this many white long sleeve crop tops? Like, how many do I need? And this is why I love being organized. You're able to really, really see what you have and what you own. And same with this. And then I put body suits and then regular sh long sleeve shirts, regular shirts, um, and then skirts pants, jeans, dresses from color coding as well, all of my jackets here, all my crew necks here. I want to get a big collection of them, make this bigger, and then all my regular jackets. So yeah, that is my final closet. I feel like it's just way more organized. I feel like not as stressed walking in here. And that's what I wanted, and it's just simple. I love it like this. Oh, I'm just so much happier now that that is all done. I don't know, I feel like everybody needs to take the time in their life at some point and go and clean out your closet, but like make sure it's intentional. Understand what you're cleaning out, what you're looking for, and make sure you love every single piece that is in your closet. I am telling you, it makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning instead of taking an hour to pick out your clothes. You're ready in five minutes because you have have your pieces that you can easily pair together but that you also feel good in like i'm telling you like look at this fit. do i have to say anything else so let me know if you guys try this on your own and you go revamp your closet revamp your style or you just find old pieces within your closet that you love and just get rid of what you're not using let me know if you guys do this and how you feel after i feel so good so so I wanna pass it along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to hitting 40K, I can't even believe it. Thank you guys so much for the love and support always. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Go clean your closet. Go clean your closet right now, right now.